good day my students and viewers. I am Mr. John Paulo Ebbaribar, your science learning partner. Let us make our science classes be filled with saya. In this session, we will talk about the Earth's lithosphere. Today, you should be able to First, describe the Earth's lithosphere and differentiate oceanic crust and continental crust. Second, infer that the Earth's lithosphere is divided into plates and identify the major lithospheric plates. Third, determine the scientific basis for dividing the lithospheric plates. Let us have a review. In the previous years, you have learned many geological concepts. I want you to arrange the sets of jumbled letters to form words that you have learned before. A picture will be given to you as a hint for each set. You will hear this sound. And after each sound, you will be given the correct answer. Are you ready to play? First set. Correct! The first concept is earthquake. Earthquake is the sudden shake of the ground. Next set. You're right! The word is Pangea. Pangea is the supercontinent that is believed to have existed 200 million years ago. Next set. Correct! The concept is Continental Drift Theory. This theory states that the continents are once joined together as one supercontinent. Next set. You're right. The next concept is seismic waves. Seismic waves are waves that provide the geologist information about the internal structure of the earth. And last set. Correct! The next concept is Volcano. Volcano is a landform where molten materials from inner earth are released. You are all excellent! Give yourself a big virtual applause! You all did well! And now let us begin with our discussion. Are you familiar with this picture? Correct! That is the planet Earth. Our planet is composed of many layers. One of the distinct layers of our planet is the lithosphere. Lithosphere is the rigid, rocky outer layer of the Earth consisting of the crust and solid outermost layer of the upper mantle. It extends to a depth of about 60 miles or 100 kilometers. However, this outer covering of the Earth is not as solid as you think. It has cracks that are both observed in continents and ocean floors. And these cracks create the two important features of the Earth's lithosphere. And these are plate boundaries and tectonic plates. Due to these cracks, the lithosphere is broken into smaller sections called tectonic plates, whereas the edges that separate them with one another are called plate boundaries. For you to understand better, let us take a look at the picture of the hard-boiled egg. Let us imagine that the Earth is just like this egg. The shell of the egg 
resembles the Earth's little sphere. The sections of the shells that has cracks as the tectonic plates, and the lines of the cracks from that egg as the plate boundaries. For concept number one, what is little sphere? The little sphere is the rigid rocky outer layer of the earth consisting the crust and upper mantle. The little sphere is divided into smaller sections called tectonic plates and lined with cracks as plate boundaries. The little sphere's outermost layer is the crust and we have two types of crust. First, the continental crust. Second, the oceanic crust. The key that distinguishes the two is based on their location. Let us take a look at this picture. Continental crust is the exposed land masses of the earth, whereas the oceanic crust lies in the bodies of water or oceans. Here is the table that compares the two types of crust. Continental crust is relatively older than oceanic crust. Then, continental crust is thicker than oceanic crust. The density of the continental crust is less than oceanic crust. And finally, the continental crust is made up of granite or granitic in nature, whereas oceanic crust is made up of basalt or basaltic in nature. For concept number two, what are the two types of crust? Correct! The two types of crust are the continental crust and oceanic crust. This time, let us continue our lesson by performing a simple activity. Let us all explore the different major plates found in the planet Earth. I want you to study carefully the map that I am going to show on the screen illustrating the major plates found in our planet. I will give you 10 seconds Study the map carefully and timer starts now. Do you observe the sizes of the tectonic plates in the illustration? You observe that some plates are large and some plates are small. Large plates are mostly named after continents. These plates are known as primary plates. Can you name the seven largest plates or primary plates in our map? First, we have the African Plate. Second, we have the Antarctic Plate. Third, we have the Eurasian Plate. Fourth, we have the North American Plate. Fifth, we have the South American Plate. Sixth, we have the Indian Plate. And seventh, we have the Pacific Plate. Then, small plates are known as secondary plates. In our map, how many are those? Yes, we have eight. And these are the following. Arabian plate, Caribbean plate, Nazca plate, Scoria plate, Juan de Fuca plate, Cocos plate, Philippine Sea plate and Australian plate. For concept number three, 
What are the two types of plate? Large plates are known as primary plates. Small plates are known as secondary plates. Remember the numbers 7 and 8. We have 7 primary plates and 8 secondary plates. Let us take a look at this video overlaying three important maps. The three maps that are included in this video is first, the map of the epicenters of earthquakes. Second, the map of different volcanoes in the world. And third, the map depicting the different mountain ranges present in the planet Earth. Please observe carefully. What have you observed from the video? Correct! The placement of the earthquake's epicenters, volcanoes, and mountain ranges lies on the similar boundaries. This serves as the evidence of the scientists that the earth is truly divided into plates. For concept number four, what are the scientific bases for dividing lithospheric plates. The geologic processes and features such as the occurrences of earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain ranges are the evidences used by scientists to divide the earth into lithospheric plates. That ends our discussion. Let us now recall the four important things you must remember. First, the lithosphere is the rigid, rocky outer layer of the Earth consisting the crust and upper mantle. The lithosphere is divided into smaller sections called tectonic plates and lined with cracks as plate boundaries. Second, the two types of crust are the continental crust and oceanic crust. Third, Major plates on Earth can be large primary plates or small secondary plates. There are seven primary plates and eight secondary plates on Earth. Fourth, the geologic processes and features such as the occurrence of earthquakes, volcanoes, and mountain ranges are the evidences used by scientists to divide the lithospheric plates. Now that we know these important concepts, let us apply what we have learned in our daily lives. We are aware that every day, different parts of our country experiences earthquakes, and sometimes sudden volcanic eruptions may also occur just like what happened in Taal Volcano last January 2020. So now, what is the reason behind this? based on what we have learned from today's lesson. Please comment your answers to my questions in the comment box of this video or simply post your answers in our Facebook Science group chats. Before we end this session, I want you to check your understanding. Today, we will be having a multiple choice quiz. I want you to choose the letter of the correct answer for each question. I will be giving you 5 seconds to answer each. You will hear this sound. Before I reveal the correct answer. Are you prepared now? Let us start. First question. What makes up the little spear? Letter A. Upper mantle. B. Continental crust. C. Crust and upper mantle. Letter D. Oceanic and continental crust. The correct answer is letter C, crust and upper mantle. Second question, 
which of the following refers to the divided portion of the Earth's little sphere? A. Astenosphere B. Crust C. Mantle D. Tectonic Plates The correct answer is letter D. Tectonic Plates Third question, which of the following statements about continental crust is true? A. It is denser than oceanic plate. B. It is thinner than oceanic plate. Letter C. It is relatively older than oceanic plate. D. It has the same composition as the oceanic little sphere. The correct answer is letter C. It is relatively older than oceanic plate. Fourth question. Which of the following is not a secondary lithospheric plate? A. Antarctic plate. B. Indian plate. C. Nazca plate. D. Scotia plate. The correct answer is letter A, Antarctic Plate. Which of the following were used by scientists as a basis for dividing lithospheric plates? The choices are A, 1, 2, and 3 only, B, 1, 3, and 4 only, C. 1, 2, and 4 only. D. 2, 3, and 4 only. The correct answer is letter B. 1, 3, and 4 only, which includes mountain ranges, seismic activity, and volcanism. What is your score in this quiz? And this is what you're going to do with your scores in this test. Congratulations! I hope that you have learned something new today. This is your learning buddy saying goodbye for now and I hope to see you in our next session full of Saya!